work, work, work. So we're gonna gear up and get started for the day. So, I'm gonna get a little real right now and uh, explain uh, just how hard it is for us. Now we are in a race against time and mother nature. The joy is in the journey, also in the destination. So exciting, I can't even tell you how excited I am. What is that in the sky? A few years ago, we decided to quit the rat race and venture down a completely unfamiliar path in life. We sold almost all of our possessions, renovated a camper van, and toured the US looking for a piece of land to start our journey. After almost two years, we found our piece of paradise in the Pacific Northwest and Pacific Pines Ranch was born. Follow along as we chase our dreams to build an off-grid shipping container home and to see our projects and adventures along the way. As we like to say on the ranch, the joy is in the journey. What's up everybody? It's a sunny winter day, which means work, work, work on the ranch. Every time that we get a nice sunny day in winter, we take full advantage of it and do as much as possible. So today we are going to try to weld the flat bar across the, the front right here on the bottom so it will match the fifth container on the third level. It's more of like an aesthetic thing. It's nothing structural, it's just to for it to look nice, more or less. And then, uh, again, we are just gonna do some aesthetic work because we don't have too many hours of sun and we have to manage uh, what we do. So right here, I think we're gonna put, well, on the other side because the side will be against that container up there. We're gonna put a C channel across here so it kind of like blends this C channel with that C channel and there's not this opening right here. Again, another aesthetic thing, nothing structural about it, just so that everything kind of like blends and goes together nice. The design is in the details as they say. And yes, my hair is blue. You only live once, so I figured, um, why not? And gave it a shot, and I love it, so that's cool. So we're gonna gear up and get started for the day. So, I'm gonna get a little real right now, and uh, explain uh, just how hard it is for us. So. We went to start to work, first of all, in the Pacific Northwest, on the west side, it's just extremely rainy in the winter. Like, you can't even imagine it unless you've been here. There's just times where it rains for like weeks straight. And in the winter, our building process just slows down so much because we are doing a lot of metal work and it's things that we have to do before we put the containers together because once they're together we can't access some of these parts that we need to uh, make sure that they're painted and sealed and and welded and everything like that so pretty much when it's raining we can do zero painting and zero metal work we're at a point right now where it's at the end of december we have seriously like maybe four things to do until we're done with the containers and we're just waiting for nice weather. So today we get up, we, uh, we go to uh, start to work because we have three days of nice weather right now. And we wanted to start to weld the flat bar and these C-channels. We looked under the container and we saw that the, there's some parts that we need to manage the, the rust and the scale that's building up. So with that being said, we needed to take out the pressure washer and 
refill our water tank and everything like that. And basically, long story short, we wouldn't have enough time to do it because we have other things that we need to do. And we need to do this step before we can move forward because it's just how it is. We can't weld this flat bar on the side because then we won't be able to sandblast because if any of the sand or the salt or the water gets up in between or anything like that or even the access it makes the access difficult it's it's harder to uh to get to this point with the flat bar in the front so that totally sucks so we're just basically in like a kind of limbo like just waiting waiting for nice weather it's super frustrating if I count the actual building, we've been building since June of 2018, but if I count the actual building time, like the physical days where we were like building, I'm guessing like we've been only building for like a year and a half. So yeah, every time the winter comes, it's just such a bummer. And that's our fault because when we started this journey, I we don't know anyone friends or family that has any kind of building experience or has lived in this kind of climate so if I could like go back could have should have would have kind of thing I would have done maybe a, a big shop first so that we could have like an interior space to to work during the winter before we started this project because now we're kind of doing it opposite we did the house and then we're doing the shop so I would have probably done it the other way but it's just super hard like mentally when things just like pile up like that like we have maintenance on the car we have maintenance on the excavator we have stuff to do for the house and when it rains like that we're just like waiting like waiting 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 and the time is going by and it's like becoming longer and longer that we're like living in the RV like it's not easy to to live in the RV like that it's doable, but when you're just stuck inside and you can't go out and you don't have a, a covered space and I mean, even when it's raining, we still go outside because it's not like if, if you have good waterproof gear, you can do it, but it just like drains on you mentally and uh, yeah, just sometimes it's really uh, mentally challenging, like and it's hard. With that being said, I wouldn't rather be doing anything else. You know, clearly if we had like this property in Malibu, we would be finished already because, you know, it doesn't rain and they don't really have like a winter over there. So with that being said, yes, things are difficult and it's mentally trying, but I'm super thankful to be on this journey trying to build my dreams in life and nothing great was ever achieved easily so yeah i guess we just keep uh keep on working at it and eventually i'm sure things will you know turn around and we'll we'll get there but it's just like you know the ups and downs of the the journey sometimes it gets to me a little more than than other times so yeah just wanted to shed a little light on the reality of this project. Not always, you know, rainbows and sunshine. <laughs> but still, I'm really happy with uh, how things are going and I'm really happy with all the things that we've learned on this path and I know that it's only going up from here, so, you know. The climb up is hard, but the view from the top is the, is, uh, the bomb. <laughs> So yeah, until another time. Ah, what is that in the sky? When we have that in the winter in the Pacific Northwest, it's time to come out and do all the things. So with that being said, uh, we are going to take full advantage of this sunny day out on Pacific Pines Ranch. Got all of our stuff out. Messy, like usual. So what we're going to be doing today is over here. We are going to be welding a flat bar on the 
on the side of this container, like the one that we did on the fifth container. It's just strictly for aesthetics, so not too difficult. My bathe is all ready to go. And uh, what else is all we're doing today, right? Maybe the side. Yeah, so we're out. gonna go ahead and do that, weld the flat bar, and then just see uh, where we are in the day. The days are short in winter, it's dark around like, Five. we have to be done around like four because the dew starts to come around then. And uh, anything that we're doing that cannot have water, <laughs> we need to be done around four. So it'll be a short day, but hopefully we will, uh, yeah, we will finish it and feel good about it. So we're gonna get all the rest of the materials that we need, all the rest of the tools and everything like that and get started. A little spider attached to my head. Let's see if I can get it. Spiders everywhere. <laughs> all right, here we go. Maybe if I'm lucky, it will bite me like Spider-Man and I can like get some sort of like superpowers either like against the weather or like super strength so we can get stuff done faster. All right, first up, Vion is drying off the steel before we work. And then after that, we are just doing some teamwork, measuring and cleaning the steel that we are going to weld. Teamwork makes the dream work. When the sun comes out, it's selfie time. Alrighty, so we are pretty much ready to weld in the flat bar. Let's go. Get in the zone, the welding zone. So here's a little quality control from Vaillant out here checking on my work, making sure everything's good. And it is. So now we will work on cleaning all the slag off of all of these welds. Also, I just got a new camera that does mega close-ups. So this is a mega close-up of the slag. And I just, I just thought it was pretty cool. So just wanted to share that with you guys. Enjoy.
we finished welding the flat bar on the seventh container. Now we are in a race against time and mother nature, which is not fun because they always win. <laughs> so Vyant's over there wiping down all where we're gonna paint to remove all the dust or debris or whatever that can be on there, because that will affect the adhesion of the paint. I'm gonna take all the painting stuff, set up all the painting stuff, mix the epoxy, get everything ready to go, and then we're gonna go and paint the flat bar and the few little touch-ups that we need to do. So wish us luck. I hope the dry weather holds out. As you can see, it's a little cloudy. So uh, yeah, finger, fingers crossed. Would you like to see how much moisture is in the air being compressed and then spit out of this little moisture release? Quality control part two. So now it's my turn to inspect Vion's work. So I'm getting in nice and close and inspecting it good. All right, another finished product of Grind Weld Paint Repeat. Turned out pretty nice. We still have to do the top coat another time, but for now, it's all good. Woo! Party! We finished. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Beat the weather, beat the rain, which is like uh, very hard to have those as adversaries and or opponents because they are impossible to defeat <laughs> but anyways here's the end result we have the first layer of paint the epoxy primer and uh, when we have some some more nice weather we will paint with the black top coat but for now we'll just leave it like that Pretty happy with how it came out. It was a successful day. We didn't run into too much trouble with anything. So yeah, that's good. Happy with the progress. What's up people from the interwebs? Today on Pacific Pines Ranch, we are going to be installing the little picture window on the side of the container. So the window goes into this frame that we welded onto the container. We are going to be using uh, self-tapping drill bits, drilling into the steel, screwing in the window into this opening and sealing it with some marine grade sealant because if you know or live or have been in the Pacific Northwest pretty much especially like west of the Pacific Northwest 
<laughs> west of the Cascades, um, you know that basically everything has to be marine grade because even if it's not going on the ocean, the atmosphere is basically just wet all the time. <laughs> Anyways, so we finished welding this plate and we did this area yesterday and we were in a huge rush yesterday so I didn't have any time to film so we were just like powering through and getting everything done before the rain comes. So as you can see all of the rain and moisture from last night is accumulating and but we painted before that so it's all good. So we welded this flat bar on the side and this is strictly just for aesthetics there's nothing structural whatsoever so yeah we welded this flat bar on the side we actually welded another flat bar right here to close this little gap i'll show you on the other side what it looks like so that's what it looked like before so we welded a little flat bar on the top and then the larger flat bar on the bottom. So we did this side and that side all the way over there because you will see both sides from the exterior of the house. This one will be on the interior so we didn't have to do anything like that because it's gonna go up next to that one on the third level. Anyways, let me show you what we'll be installing today. So we have this window right here. And we will be installing the screws into these little holes onto the frame and sealing in between. So we have to take this window out, clean it up a bit dry this area off and get going with that. So we're going to gather all of the tools that we need, start to clean the window and everything like that and get going. No big job. Good shot, huh? My babe admiring his his design and work. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. So we are cleaning this window with a 1700 PSI pressure washer. I would not recommend going higher than 1700 PSI because it would absolutely destroy the window and we don't want that, right? So as you can see, we have this container here. This is a little something I did to remind myself to enjoy the journey. The joy is in the journey, also in the destination, but 99% of it is the journey. So sometimes it's important to take a step back and kind of just find the joy in what you're doing, especially when the project is like very, becomes very difficult and complicated and you hit little bumps along the road. Yeah. The joys in the journey. These center punch tools are amazing. They make a tiny indentation so the drill bit doesn't moonwalk all over the place while drilling. Hee <laughs> hee! 
petit tout, on va dire. Okay, so now that all the holes are drilled, I'm going to introduce you to the tool that changed our life. This is a drill tap bit. So it drills and taps in one time. It's incredible. Highly recommend it. And I'll link a set in the description. And guess what? My new camera that does close-ups also does slow motion. So enjoy this super cool video of the drill tap it in slow motion. My husband is the silicone sealant master. Done hundreds of feet of precision work. And he has a cute butt. So now that all of the holes are drilled and tapped, Vion's going along and applying the sealant before we install the window.
There's a one and the last one. How do you feel, my babe? Exhausted. Do you feel like it was a successful day? I feel like complete and tired in the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the best kinds of days, right? Oh, yeah. We finish! Woo, 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 woo! Yeah! You happy? You so happy? <laughs> so we finished. Uh, super happy. Everything went well. Everything went really smooth, which is kind of rare for us because usually, like, we'll break the drill bit or, like, something isn't working or whatever, like, little issues like that but we didn't have any issues so it was a good day so I took out the manager to inspect our work so we're gonna take her by the by what we did and ask what do you think Think we could have done better? Are you happy with the results? I think it's good. Hello, hello! Coming to you from the third level of our container house right now. Cloudy day, but no rain, which is really important because today we are, drum roll, moving this container on top of that one, which I know seems super crazy, but as you can see, we have a very limited access space right here and we need to start to build the garage. So the only way that the crane is gonna be able to come and put the last two containers on the foundation. This one's fine where it's at, but this one is the issue because once the wall and the garage is built, the crane won't be able to pick this one up because it's too far, the reach is too far. So we're gonna put it on top of that one. We went the other day and reinforced the bottom with more logs and put a bunch of extra torsion stuff all up in there. We're gonna weld some rebar on the uh, the corners over there a little X in this little opening so yeah so the crane will come today put this one on top of that one we'll clip it in place with the, sh the clips that they use on the ships the cargo ships and then we get to take this bad boy and start the garage so exciting like can't even tell you how excited I am to uh, be able to to start the garage. It's really like a big step in the progress. So we're gonna go and excavate where we have to do the slab, and we have to do this one 10, 10 inch, 10 foot wall. So. Yeah, lots to do, but today we're going to focus on the crane and then we're going to focus on starting the excavation, mapping everything out, and uh, yeah, move forward with the next step. So, here we go.
So now everything is stacked up and we are ready to start working on the garage, which is pretty exciting. So as always, thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't subscribed and like and share this video. So yeah, until next time. In the next video, I have something special for you guys. Mine and Vion's first time using our excavator. So be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that because it's pretty funny. Anyways, tomorrow I will go outside in the daylight and show everything that we did.